Yeah, come then. French Hill. I'm Terry Mooney. I'm Anne, the warden. This is Simon and Doug, the instructors. Hello there. Hello. Oh, it's really quite here, isn't it? Yeah. Right, can I have your attention? Now then, over here, everybody. Now then, I'm going to divide you into two groups, and then we'll show you around, OK? I'm Simon, by the way. This lady here is Anne, the warden, which means she's the boss. And that man in the funny hat, that's Doug. <laughs> Who brought these? Who brought plastic bags? Janet? Where's Janet? Browning. Hi. Terry? Jimmy? Paul? Browning. Deborah? Come on, all in. Now then, this is where you'll keep your gear. And we'll be giving each of you one of these pegs. And you'll also get a rucksack like this, an anorak, a pair of waterproof trousers and coat, and a pair of climbing boots. And you keep them on your peg. Tidily. Now then, for the dormitories, the girls that way with Doug and Terry, and the boys this way with me and Jeff, right? Oh, yes, for example, this is the washing up rotor. Now everyone is expected to help, including the staff. We all pitch in. It helps to create a good group atmosphere, you see. It's like the business of first names. We try to get right away from Sir and Miss and go for something much more informal. You mean the children are going to call us Terry and Jeff? Yes. Well, if you don't mind, of course. What about the actual activities themselves? Oh, well, that's my group, and that's Doug's with the week's programme for each. Gosh! And, and what about us? I mean, do we join in or what? Oh, absolutely. Very important. Never ask the kids to do anything we aren't prepared to do ourselves. So, you mean, I've actually got to do all those things myself? Yes, and be prepared to fail at them too. Or even make a fool of yourself. Oh, in fact, we actually encourage that. <laughs> We sometimes get the kids to play jokes on the teachers, like pushing them in the water or something. It does everybody the power of good. Oh, never mind. Not this evening. Simon and Doug will be taking their groups out on some icebreaker exercises, and we'll let you and Terry off. Right. Now, the aim is for all of you, as a group, to get over the wall in the shortest time possible. So have a think about it, and then I'll time you. Well, I know we got there. Of course we will. It's easy. Look. The two people behind give the one in front a bunk up. What about Rowley? All right. Off you go. Well, get over there, Raymond. <coughs> Jim, kiss the leg up. Well, that's it. Good. Well Good. done. So right. Next. next one. Come on, Tell. God, you're not a fair boy. That's it. Push That's up, it. Yeah. Help you move your legs a bit. Get your legs over. Yes. Yeah. Good. Come on. Right, off you go then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope you're watching. Go on, Jonah.
That's it. Good. Right, near for rolling. Oh, God. Come on. 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 Come
Oh, Roland, what's all that stuff? I reckon he's going to have a midnight feast. All on his own. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I'm surprised he didn't get stuck in that tunnel. The way he eats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he didn't manage to get over the wall, did he? I did. I got over it easy. Well, what I heard. Well, I did. All right, you lot, let's be having you. Oh, oh come on, ten more minutes. Ten 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 Good night. Why doesn't he call it? It's not as if we're at Grange Hill. Yeah, we got to think about something to do with him, Zemma. Yeah. Something that'll cool him down a bit. Yeah. I think he's coming to me now. Right, who shall we have next? Browning. Come on, lad. Of course, sir. Better check the rope, it might snap. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got on your feet? Look at those shoes. Sorry, sir. These are the smallest ones I could find. Listen, we're going climbing, not canoeing. <laughs> Go on, get back to the centre and get the right ones. And hurry back. Yes, sir. Can I ever go now, please, Jeff? <laughs> Come on, then. Come on, Jonah. This should be fun. Berman's coming up now. Oh, she'll be hopeless. she get off her up and scream or something. Come on. That's it. Taking the slide. Now, aim to come up roughly in this direction. She's not bad, is she? Yeah, but we went up faster, didn't Wait. we? The only winners on a climb are the ones that get to the top in one piece. Going fast could be pretty silly. I'll feed out, pay out some slack. That was really good. Your first climb? Yeah. That's it, paid out. Wouldn't I, Pen? English, are you? Yes, I, I am. Uh huh. From the camp up there, are you? Yes, sir. Only I got lost. I'm very sorry. Uh huh. From the big city, eh? Yes, sir. <laughs> I thought as much. Them bulls were chasing me. Oh, bulls, are they? Yeah, they could have trampled me to death. Oh, we'll see about that now. Yeah, come with me. Bulls, are they? Soft as butter, they are. Tell me, lad, what is that down there, eh? That's her udder, lad. That's where the milk comes from. Now, tell me, how could they be bulls when they've got udders on them, eh? <laughs> Come on, Diane, go for it. I'm scared. I'm going to fall. Put your foot up there to the left and just pull yourself up on your hands. Oh, feeble, feeble. 
Shut up. She can't help it. She can't do it, can she? Oh, sorry. I forgot you fancy her. OK, Diane, don't worry. Come down now. That's good. Take your time. Okay, you'll do it next time. You're a bit scared of heights, aren't you? Where's that big pudding browning? He's not still looking for his shoes, is he? He's probably home in the dormitory, he's notching his secret supplies. Let's try it again. Good morning. Guarata. Good. Now, how are you today? Should he hear? Thank you. Excellent, excellent. Oh, we'll have you speaking Welsh in no time. Yeah. Have a Garibaldi. Thanks. Tell me, are they giving you a good time up at the camp there? It's an outbound school. Uh -huh. What do you think of Wales, then? A bit different to London, eh? Yeah. Would you like to live down here regular? Um, I don't know. I've been to London once, mine, mm. but I had to come back home straight away. But I still go to Cardiff. That's bad enough. Huh. Why do you keep the lot? Oh, thanks. Hugh, it's time I move in. Come along. You know the way back. Up the track there, through the gate. You can't miss it. You mean, through them cows? Oh, you're not scared of them cows now, are you? Nah. Good. Look, come back in a couple of days' time. I might be able to show you a newborn calf. You like that, would you? Yeah. Good. You know where to find me, don't you? All right. Hoyle. Hey, miss, I just suppose Roland's got to. I mean, it's not like him to miss a meal, is it? It's all right. Mr. Baxter's looking for him. Pass the chips, will you, please? What if he's wandered off and really has got lost? I mean, you know what he's like. He's always in a dream. Yeah, then I'd have to call in the mountain rescue. You know, rescue him by helicopter. That'd be silly, Samuel. You'd never be able to pick him up in helicopter. They'd never get one strong enough. They'd have to use a jumbo jet. Honestly, what sense of humour? They're so childish, isn't they? I wish we had some of them boys in our party. At least they're 15 and reasonably grown up. Actually, I don't really know this. One of them kids are looking at me. No! Every time I look up, I catch his eye. What? That awful spotty one. I mean, sorry. Aren't you eating, Diane? Yes. Come on, we're going to the mountains this afternoon. You must have something inside you. Nowhere. You're supposed to be looking for your boots. Well, I got lost, sir. You realise I've wasted my whole lunch hour looking for you and you've kept everybody waiting. We can't go on the hike without you. Sorry, sir. Another thing, you know, you miss your lunch, don't you? That's all right, sir. I've had some biscuits. Do you want one? A Gary Baldy? Two what? You see those cows over there, sir? The black ones? I like breed they are. What? They're called Welsh Blacks. They've all got udders underneath them. So you can cross the field if you want to, sir. Come on, any more grades? I've finished here. Do you want to go map reading this afternoon? Yeah, you bet. Right, well, it's up to you to help the group get the washing up done as quickly as possible, then, isn't it? Yeah, that's very nice. 
nice of you. Thank you, Tyler. Did you keep that extra lunch? Brown has decided he's coming after all. Now, you all remember the safety code? Yes! And everybody's ready? Yes! Let's go! Yes! The right boots this time, have you, Browning? Yes, sir, of course I have. Jolly good. Come on! Come on, Browning. Taking a shower with the others? No. What do you have to do for these spots then? Leave it. Is this some sort of special soap or something? I said leave it. Well, it doesn't seem to be doing much good. Which basin did you use? This one. I mean, I don't want to be catching anything from you, do I? Because I've never had spots myself, touch wood, and they could be catching. Do you know what I mean? Right now, girls, lights out. It's an old Victorian path. There's plenty of stones underfoot. You'll be fine up there. Well, I'll leave you to that. Okay. All settled. They were sound asleep already. Oh, good. Worn out by all the fresh air and exercise, I expect. You're probably right. It's been a super day, hasn't it, Jeff? Yeah. And the children seem so happy. Yeah, they're nice kids. So, Terry, what subject to teach back at Grange Hill? Science. Oh, that's unusual for him. We used to get geography and PE teachers. I know. But I especially asked if I could come. I had to get away. You see? I've been having rather a bad time recently, and I came away, well, you know, to forget. Ah. Oh. Broken engagement, actually. Right. I think I'll go and see if the lads have got their lights off. Everything okay? You know, fine. He's on his way. Come on, Jonah. Don't panic. Oh, 
serves you right, Brown. Thank <laughs> you.